Hey everybody, Matthew here from AnyWarGaming.com and I wanted to put up this important video just to make a, an announcement and to talk about something that is important to me. And the first is a quick announcement and an important one, our Painting Partner Program. We're going to be, in a sense, stopping doing the Painting Partner Program. And we recently called for new painters because we have some work that needs to be done and there was a lot of negativity surrounding it. And even though I don't think that the negativity is necessarily valid because it's different than what people are, are, are really lumping it in with, it really made me think because I'll be honest, uh, it really, I don't know if hurt my feelings is the right word, but it really bothered me the entire weekend after that was happening. I was just, it was heavy, it weighed on me because I really, and Dave too and the rest of our business, we really try to do things ethically here. We try to be transparent. We try to be as honest as possible. So when all of a sudden you have a lot of people accusing you of taking advantage of somebody else, it, uh, it can kind of weigh on you. And I realize that a lot of people watching our videos don't necessarily know us intimately, and they might just know us a little bit from watching a few videos. So when you watch a 50 second video and I say, hey, we're looking for painters to paint in exchange for advertising, I can see how people would lump us in with a lot of other companies who try to take advantage of artists and offer them exposure in exchange for their work. Now, I don't really wanna go in in this video into all the reasons why we don't really match up with those kind of companies. I could talk about how people actually pay us for our advertising, and so really we're just offering them to pay us in their time rather than money. I could talk about how there's been lots of the painting businesses that have come to us afterwards and thanked us for this program. Even had one stop me at Adepticon and tell me that his business exists because of the Painting Partner Program. What, about six years ago when we started it, it came as a, as a reason because we were even smaller business, had even less money, but we had miniatures that needed to be painted, but we couldn't afford to get them done. And we realized we also had a lot of advertising real estate, that there was a lot of people watching us, but we weren't selling the advertising at the time. So there was this opportunity. We knew that there were a lot of painting commission studios that were one-man operations that couldn't afford to get their name out there. They couldn't afford to pay for advertising. And so there was an exchange that could be made that we had advertising that they couldn't afford to pay for and they had painting that we couldn't afford to purchase from them as well. And so because of that, I saw that opportunity arise and we took that. Now, I remember having the conversation with Dave back when we first started it and I told him, I'm like, I don't want this program to run unless it's a benefit to the painters. That actually was my number one concern. Of course, I wanted to get painting done for free in exchange for the advertising, but not at the expense of the painters. And for the past six years, we've worked really hard to try to make that so. And there's been a lot of painters that have benefited from it. I can't say that every single commission studio that's worked with us has benefited from it, just like any other advertising. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But the fact of the matter is, it was a program that worked. We weren't taking advantage of people and we were getting services done in exchange. On top of that, over the years, we've been able to afford to actually hire painters to paint for us. Now we even have a full-time painter on staff and we pay local painters to get stuff done that we need to get done quickly. The Painting Partner Program was more for stuff that it's okay if it took a, a few months to get it done. It's just building up some armies that we didn't have so that we could better show them in battle reports. And so, however, the last video I put up got so much negativity. There's always a few negative comments of people that didn't really understand how it worked, but that was trumped by the overall success of it. But this time there was a lot of them and it bothered me so much that I decided, it, it actually made me not want to run the program because no matter what the benefit was to us, if people thought we were being dishonest and if there was no way for me to convince them otherwise, I just, I hurt, it really didn't sit right with me. And so I decided to sit down. I had Mike, who's running the program right now, to do a full analysis of it a cost-benefit analysis, and we discovered something interesting. See, back when we first started, I managed the whole thing. I made the videos, I spoke with the painters, and so the cost was next to nothing. But now the program got so big that we have Mike working on it, we've got Rob working on it, we've got employees helping to make the videos. On top of that, there is a lot of shipping costs because we don't make the painters pay for the models or any of the shipping, so we would reimburse the shipping. On top of that, um, because we're buying for the painters, we would buy from the local games workshops and have it shipped there because it's cheaper. Um, but we actually can get a discount on games workshop products from one of our suppliers. And so there was a cost of not getting that discount. And when we put all the numbers together, we realized that over the years, this program's cost of operation has actually gone up quite dramatically 
to the point now where I really don't think it's worth doing. There was still some benefit, but when then you add in that last straw, which is people misunderstanding the program and it hurting our image, that's when I was like, I just, it's not worth it. It's not worth this negativity. It's not worth um, having to explain every single time why it's okay that we're doing this and going through all of those things. On top of that, the energy we put into that could even be better put into other things. And so we've decided that we're going to essentially close down the program. Now, if you are already a painter for us and you're in the middle of projects, we're still gonna complete that. If you have painted for us in the past and we still have advertising credit that you have not yet used, we are still gonna honor that. So it means for our viewers, you're gonna see Painting Partner Program videos for probably the next year because we have a lot of painters still with credit that will be rewarding it to them or not rewarding, they've earned it. It's you know exchanging it and making the advertisements for. And, uh, but yeah, because we can't like just dump them all at once. We can't put up 30 videos in a week because then they don't have any value as it's just become saturated. So you'll still see videos, but we're not gonna really have it open anymore. There might be a select few painters that we might work with, but for the most part, we're gonna take all those efforts and, and put them elsewhere. And, um, and hopefully we can still meet the demands of what it is that we need to get painted. So that's what I'm hoping for at least. So we have heard your feedback. We have heard your criticisms on this. We've all, I also want to thank those who stood up for us. There was a lot of commenters also who spoke about why the program would work and even some of our painters jumped in and said why it worked for them. And I just want to thank you guys for that. But as of this point, like lots of programs, there's usually a lifetime or a lifespan to it where there's at one point it makes sense and another point it doesn't. I don't regret doing it. I don't think that we shouldn't have done it from the beginning. Uh, because it has a great benefit to us and to painters. But now that we've expanded and got to the point where we are right now, and, and also because of the negativity associated with it, we are definitely gonna discontinue it. So thank you so much to all the painters, over 200 different painting commission studios, actually I think it's even way higher than that, who have helped us complete countless projects over the past few years, almost six years in fact. So I wanna say a big thank you, you guys have been awesome. Like I said, we're gonna continue to to fulfill the advertising credit that anybody has earned and finish the projects that are currently in process. And uh, if you're interested in working with us in the future, for whatever reason, then just contact us and we'll see what we can arrange. But for the most part, we're gonna be hiring local painters because that gets rid of shipping costs, it allows us to buy the Games Workshop models at a good price, and there's those savings right there, and also makes management of it much easier. And we have a lot of really good local painters too, and we want to continue to support them and even expand that support. So thank you so much, and uh, love to hear your feedback on this in the comments below. Happy work, Amy.